We've got a beautiful spring day right here today with the Timber King 1600. We're bringing it outside. When we were inside, we saw all the details and the close-ups of the features of the Timber King 1600. The four post head, the massive construction, bi-directional chain, log turner, direct action hydraulic, stationary command post, all the things that kind of separate it from the competition and make it a really special machine. Now we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make the rubber meet the road outside today, cut up a log, um, and, and really show you how all those features combine to make it such a great machine for that, for that niche that it has in our product line. So Jason just revved up that V-twin Kohler. So we're getting ready to really do some cutting now. The power of the machine, again, is, is one of the important factors of it. Tim's pushing the log onto the machine. We got a nice big log today. It's an oak log. It's uh, about 24 inches in diameter, a little over 10 feet long. This big log is by no means maxing this machine out. It's a big oak log, but it's well within what this machine can handle. You see the bi-directional chain log turner there, log loaders, the log clamp comes in, hydraulic log clamp to hold it in place. Notice, Jason, at the stationary command post. Again, this is something that's standard with the 1600. Stationary command post, you operate the mill from one stationary place using your direct action hydraulics. When Jason pushes that lever, he is in immediate control of the hydraulics. He is causing hydraulic fluid to move. It's simple, it's rugged, there's no electronics involved. It's old school, old fashioned, rugged stuff. That's what we do at Timber King. Notice the nice wide cut there. He's got so much room left in his cutthroat there uh, when doing a 20 inch cut. That's because of our wide cutthroat, 32 inches wide by 16 inches high. He's nowhere near maxing out the cutthroat. On my competitor's machines, at this point, you'd be pretty close on width to having no more width to work with. And Jason, again, this 24 inch log is just well within our capabilities. It's, it's, it's not in any way maxing out this machine. Whether you're talking about the loaders, the turner, or the cutthroat, you're not even close to maxing out the machine with this pretty substantial uh, oak log. People talk to me all the time, and they're, of course they, they want to know, they want to compare machines to, to other machines out there, and, and you know what makes the 1600 different. Again and again, I always come back to the bi-directional chain log turner, and you're going to see that in action many times today. The bi-directional chain log turner, there it goes, nice, just flips it right over, boom. You are not going to see that on any other mill I know of in this price range. That boom, quick, turn that big log. Again, the bi-directional chain log turner, is unavailable on my competition's mills up until you spend you know, twice or three times as much as what we charge for the 1600. Then they'll give you a bi-directional chain log turner. It's standard equipment on the 1600, bi-directional hydraulic chain log turner. And as you've seen and as you will see, it does a fantastic job even handling this, this big oak log. I never get, and I know I, I, if you watch the 2000 video, I say the same thing, but I never get tired of opening up a log or watching Jason open up a log is even better. So often with Timber King, we give it all to you. There's not that much really that you can add on to this machine. We give you everything you need, dollar for dollar. It's really difficult um, to find more mill out there than Timber King mills. Dollar for dollar, Timber King mills are gonna give you a huge amount of value for your dollar. And at the end of the day, that's what you're looking for. A simple, dependable machine that's not gonna let you down. I'm going to say he's got about 10 inches, 9 or 10 inches above that blade, okay? Uh, as you can see, that's not even coming close to filling up the cutthroat on this machine. Jason's using the log stops. The log stops, he's got, it's a manual operation there on his left there. He's just turning those double cants. Nicely done. Again, so easy with the bi-directional chain log turner. That's just not something you're going to do with a claw log turner right there. Just flip those two cants like that put it up and now he's going to cut boards straight. Saving time equals more production. And for a lot of our owners in this class of milling going up, that's why you're here to make money. More time with your blade in the wood means you're making more money. You're getting more wood. We talk a lot too about some of the intangible advantages that I think Timber King brings to the table. Um, you know, obviously our warranty. And again, the warranty, one of the reasons we can offer such a strong warranty and offer the same warranty from our smallest mills to our largest mills is because we build the machines right the first time, right? We're one of those companies that still makes stuff here. And if you're looking at that long vision of, of, of being a long-term business, and, and that the way to do that is to make good stuff, there's no better place in the world to make it than right here in the USA. So we're really proud of that.
Now Jason's getting to the bottom of that cant, right? Now I want you to look at that. I'm gonna say he's got close to 12 inches and notice that he's still got room, a lot of room in that cutthroat. Again, my competitor is not gonna be able to cut down as low as he's cutting down. But again, what you're seeing right now is either impossible on my competitor's mill or if you're possible right now, you're definitely scraping the top of that cutthroat on my competitor's mill. On the, on the 1600 here, you've still got a lot of room up there. The longer you can leave those boards on, on the cut deck, um, the less you have to pull them off by hand, then you can just come, if you have it, you can come in there with forks and take your, your whole uh, stack off. So again, it's just timber gate bad. He's gonna go down one more, and I'm pretty confident right now on my competitor's mill, I'm gonna say that's, if that's not 12 inches, that's pretty close to 12 inches right there. And what you're seeing right now is physically impossible on my competitor's mill because they don't have the cutthroat side to do it. For now, Jason's going for it again. You're looking at something. What is happening right now? Physically impossible on almost all of my competitor's mills that I can think of. Um, they just don't have that cutthroat that we have. Certainly my major competitors. That is a huge part of the timber gate advantage. And, and again, that comes back to the rugged four post head. Um, the size of our cutthroat, the reason we can have a cutthroat like that is because of the four post head, the, the solid twin beam deck, the solid welded construction of this machine. You know, the deck, that's the other thing, you know, the deck on this machine, my competitor's machine, it's all bolted together. It's all nuts and bolts. Um, this thing is solid welded. We build the cutting deck once, okay? We build it once, we build it right, we build it the first time. Um, you're not going to have to rebuild it. It's not adjustable. You know, if you can't build it right the first time, don't build it. So let's go have a quick look. Look at that measurement um, of that stack and, and, and see how that stacks up. So this is the kind of where the rubber meets the road. Right here, this stack, 13 and a half inches. Okay, again, even that stack, the shorter stack, physically impossible if you have a 12 inch cup throw. You just, it's physically impossible on my competitor's mill, what you just saw. This side of the stack, at 15 and a half, even more physically impossible. You could not, what you just saw, he had, Tim had to remove two boards. My competitor's mill, you would have had to off board bear a lot more uh, boards. Again, that's just more work. You're doing work twice. Large cutthroat, big part of the Timber King advantage. Thanks for the time today. You know, I, I always get excited to, to show off our mills. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and hope you really got a sense with the 1600 in its class, um, really being your, your best choice in that class of mill. It's simple, ruggedly constructed, four post head, huge cutthroat, direct action hydraulics, direct action hydraulics, direct action hydraulics, I can't say it enough, bi-directional chain log turner. Again, like I said at the beginning, the, if there's one thing that, that separates us from our competition in this class of mill, it's the bi-directional chain log turner. It is simply unavailable from my competitors in this class of mill. And it, you saw how easy, how easy it was to use, how easy it made that log handling. Um, this log, it was a good sized log, 24 inch oak, red oak log, uh, 10 and a half feet long, that's a big log. Came nowhere near maxing out this machine. This machine was extremely comfortable handling that size of log. It was easy for this machine to do. And you saw that today, and that's important. The solid welded cut deck, we're not bolting this thing together to where you have to adjust it. Um, it, it's not adjustable. We figure you build the cut deck once, you build it right, um, and you go on, okay? Um, those are the Timber King Advantage. Those are general things about the Timber King Advantage, and they're very specific things about the 1600. And what they combine to tell you is that in this class of mill, the 1600 is your best choice. It's the Timber King Advantage, it's the 1600 Advantage. Thanks so much.